Hi guys, my, welcome to Rodha. My name is Ayi Prakash. I did live at an academy plus daily. I take classes there. Okay, and again, uh, we are continuing this algebra practice session here. Okay, so in this algebra practice session, okay, so let me cover a, a some few questions of greatest integer functions. Okay, greatest integer function. Okay, now what is greatest integer function, guys? See, basically any rational number, like for example, uh, let's say two point five. Okay. This can be represented in the form of integer plus fraction, okay? Where f is the f is a fraction which value is always less than equal to zero, huh? Two, sorry, greater than equal to zero to one. Basically, you can write like this that f is always less than one and greater than equal to zero, okay? And so f is a number which is always between zero to one, right? And i is that integer value, okay? So greatest integer function of any number. Any uh, x right? If if we have this two point five as x actually, so its greatest integer function will always be like its greatest integer function will always be like i. Okay, i. This is the meaning of greatest integer function. For example, if we have three point nine, I can write as as i plus f. What is i here? I is three, and what is f here? F is point nine. Okay, so three plus point nine I can write like this. Okay. So that means greatest integer function of three point nine it should be equal to what i i means what i means three here, correct? If you go for the neg some negative values, right? For example, you can take here any negative value. Let's say minus four point six. Okay, I want its greatest integer function. So let me write if I want the greatest integer function of minus four point six, let me write like i plus f. Okay. Now I told you f is always positive, right? What is f? Always between zero to one. Okay. That means you can't take i as minus four. People do that do this mistake, right? They take i as minus four, and then this f will becomes minus point six, which is wrong. This is wrong, right? You can't write f as negative. So for making f positive, you just need to concentrate on the lesser negative number than minus four point six. That is minus five. Okay, and lesser negative integer. So I can write this as minus five plus point four. Okay, this is my i. This is my f now. F is positive. So its greatest integer function is always i. What is i here? i is minus five. Okay. So what I can say here is the greatest integer function is always the next integer which is just less than or equal to x. Okay. So like for minus four point six, the next integral value just less than minus four point six is minus five. For three point nine, it is three, just less than, right? Minus five is just less than minus four. Three is just less than three point nine, like that. Okay. So let's look at a couple of questions here, right? Okay. So let me take an example here. Let me take a question, guys. Okay. The question says that uh, this is like root one, its integral part, plus root two, integral part, root three, integral part, till root fifty. What's the value? And it will be written that this bracket denotes. Greatest integer function that is GIF, right? Not our WhatsApp GIF. Okay, this is the greatest integer function here. Fine. Okay. So now, if I try to solve this, so what will do here? What will do here? Root one, root two, root three till root fifty. Fine. So basically, what is the value of right? So tell tell me. Ah, uh, till root one. So root one value will be one only. Fine. Root two will be what? What is root two? Root two is one point something. One point four one four two is that right? But I'm just fine with one point something. One point something means its value will be one only. It it's integer value, right? It gets uh, gets integer function value. Root three is again one point something. One point seven three to be exact. But I'm not uh, concerned with that, right? What is root three? One point seven. That means one point something means one only. So one will come three times, right? Okay, fine. Then obviously after that the root four will start. So basically one this one is for basically this one is for Uh, root uh, uh, three is for root two, and this is for root one. Okay. After that, what will start this? I'll start with root four. What is root four? Root four is two. Okay. Root five is two point something again two. Correct. And this will go till root nine, root eight, because root eight is two point something. From root nine, three will come. So root eight will it will two. Right. That means root four to root eight. Root four to root eight. This two will occur how many times? Two will occur five times. 
टू विल अकर पैटर्न गॉट ए पैटर्न राइट टू विल अकर फाइव टाइम्स इयर करेक्ट देन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रूट नाइन गाइज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रूट नाइन देन रूट नाइन टू रूट सिक्सटीन का नहीं से सॉरी रूट फिफ्टीन रूट सिक्सटीन विल फोर राइट सो रूट नाइन टू रूट सिक्सटीन द वैल्यू विल बी फोर एक्चुअली यस सो रूट नाइन टू रूट सिक्सटीन द वैल्यू विल बी फोर करेक्ट दैट मीन्स इट इज थ्री हाँ सो रूट नाइन इट ओनली रूट फिफ्टीन राइट यू शुड राइट रूट फिफ्टीन ये बिकॉज रूट फिफ्टीन इज थ्री पॉइंट समथिंग रूट सिक्सटीन बिकम्स फोर सो रूट नाइन टू रूट फिफ्टीन दिस थ्री स्टार्टिंग टू फ्रॉम थ्री and it goes like root 15 is again 3 right how many times 3 will occur here 9 to 15 seven times 3 will appear seven times actually and now we got the pattern right now we got the pattern 3 will appear seven times after that 4 will appear nine times this is our odd number right 3 times 5 times 7 times 4 will appear nine times then 5 will appear 11 times okay then 6 will appear 13 times So just make that part right. We have to stop at root fifty actually. So six will appear thirteen times. That will root thirty six to root forty eight. Okay. So six will appear thirteen times. That is root thirty six to root forty eight. But now I am left with only two values right. This six is for root forty eight. Okay. So now I am left with only two values here. Uh, all right. That is uh, uh, root forty nine and root fifty. That's it right. So I think the both the values are seven, right? So we have got both the values seven actually. Seven plus seven. Okay. You just add it up, right? Quite simple to add, no? Three plus uh, this is three. Uh, this is three. Three plus two two five times is ten. Okay. Three seven times is twenty one. Four nine times is thirty six. Five eleven times is fifty five. Six thirteen times is seventy eight. And seven two times is fourteen. Right? Three plus ten thirteen. Thirty-four, seventy, one twenty-five, two zero three, and two one seven. So two one seven is the answer of this question. Okay. So I hope you got. I hope all of you got this funda right. This is what. This is the greatest integer function funda. Okay. For example, let me take uh, take up one more small small problem here, right? Okay. So if I write something like this, understand this part, okay? Okay, so let me take up a uh, take up a that problem, right? This is previous year that problem. Okay, now the question is actually uh, this that problem. Yes, the question was one by three, okay, plus one by three plus one by ninety nine plus one by three plus two by ninety nine. Okay, then plus the next question was uh, this next was it goes to one by three plus ninety eight by ninety nine, and it was written that I wanted the value actually. It was written that this is the greatest integer function, huh? Or basically, it is also written that this or it denotes or it could be written that it denotes the Greatest integer less than or equal to x. Greatest integer less than or equal to x. Okay, so this is how we will put up the question, right? Greatest integer less than or equal to x. So you need to find the answer here, right? Now think over it, guys. How to solve it actually? So if you think over, if you try to build some uh, logic for this problem actually, right? So we will try to obviously because it's a big series, right? So what I'll try to think here. I'm sorry, this is not dot here. This is plus only. Okay, this is plus. My mistake, huh? One by three plus two by ninety nine. Okay, yeah. So once you try to observe the pattern here, right? So I just try and make the denominator same here. Okay. So let's say it is one by three. So one by three is obviously zero, right? It is zero point something is zero only. Fine. Then. One by three plus one by ninety nine. Can I, if I make the denominator same, can I write this as ninety nine as denominator? This is thirty three plus one thirty four. Correct, right? Similarly, if I try to make denominator same here, it becomes what ninety nine. This is again thirty three plus two is thirty 
35 by 99 correct similarly so you got the pattern here right this is 0 this is what this is 34 by 99 okay this is 35 by 99 okay and this will actually go on till okay so this will just keep on going what is the last number guys what is the last number i got so the last number i got is 90 uh, 33 plus 98 right 33 plus 98 that is 138 by 99 131 by 99 right so now if you add these values here so 0 34 by 99 35 by 99 ends up at 131 by 99 so basically it's quite obvi obvious that somewhere a point would have come where the number was 99 by 99 Okay, and from here, actually, the value 1 will start. 99 by 99 is 1, right? Again, after this, this number, 100 by 99. Again, 1. This 1, 1, 1 will appear how many times? So, till from 99 to 131, if you count, it is 33 times, right? 33 times. Okay, and all the previous will be 0. Because till 98 by 99, okay, it is 0 point something. So 0 point something, its integral part is what? That is 33 only. Okay. That means 33 is the answer. 33 is the answer, right? So okay, it's a very nice question. Very good pattern question of that actually. Okay. So I hope all of you got this, right? Okay. And also, also this combat guys. Okay. So this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay. So the easy questions are, are not asked here. So it basically, it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRD assets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving, this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get, get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better your, the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually the, those one hour test is a fun. And actually if you look at the CAT, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this, I think, okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription, I think around 20,000 or 75% scholarship or 50%. So, so, so great prizes are on offer here, okay. So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll, uh, this uh, invite code you can put here, Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely, absolutely free of cost. Okay. Ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay. And do give this every Sunday. Do give this at 12 p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay. So every Sunday, give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.